So this is what I believe to be lead chloride from my tin, metal, acid, and electricity video. I am 303. Thank you for watching. Warning, lead, metal, and its salts are highly toxic. Always protect yourself. I'm going to keep this video very short because there's so many other things that I want to work on. But I thought it was important since this was a byproduct of the tin metal that I started with. Lead metal is commonly found in sources of tin. Lead metal dissolves very poorly in hydrochloric acid. But when you add an oxidizer like I did with the hydrogen peroxide, it dissolves very briefly and then precipitates back out as lead chloride. The appearance of lead chloride is white or a clear crystal. This crystal formed after I added the hydrogen peroxide in the tin metal acid and electricity video. At first I wasn't sure what it was, but now I think it's lead chloride. Lead chloride is only slightly soluble in water at room temperature to the rate of about one gram per 100 milliliters. So I'm testing it with heat to see if it will dissolve into the water. After coming to a boil, it maintained its milky appearance. So I thought I would add some more water to see if it was saturated. And then even more water. But it still looks like a neurotoxic milkshake. It was at about this point that I realized that at some point in the process, I added sulfuric acid. It doesn't take much sulfuric acid to convert lead chloride to lead sulfate. Lead sulfate is even closer to completely insoluble than lead chloride is. So I'm going to try to filter it out and then figure out a way to test it. I wish I had some potassium dichromate. Let me see what I have in my precious metals testing box. You should really have one of these if you're into metals. There's a solution to test 10 karat gold. There's a solution to test 14 karat gold. And here's 18 karat. I have an Amazon affiliate link in the description if you want to pick one of these up for yourself. They cost about $40. There's a 22 karat gold test, and this one is for platinum. And this one's for silver. And you know what? The silver test is called a Schwarter test. It only has two ingredients. It is nitric acid and potassium dichromate. I think that might work. So I'm going to get a little bit of this solution and then I will add some of this silver test and potassium dichromate should make the solution turn yellow if there are lead salts or lead dissolved in the liquid. Four or five drops should really be plenty. So I think this yellow color confirms that there's a presence of a lead salt. It could be lead chloride, it could be lead sulfate, but it's definitely lead. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much.